You mind if I come in? Not at all. You mind if I leave? I told you not to take that case specifically so you could deal with Wilson. And the two ended up dovetailing rather nicely, don't you think? Is this how you show your friendship? By bludgeoning him with guilt? Because he's my friend, I know what works on him. Well, I can't let you walk away from a patient. Then fire me. You're willing to risk your career, but you're not willing to say you're sorry. I told him I'm sorry. He didn't believe it. Well, make him believe it. I don't believe it. You don't want to believe it. Because if you tell Wilson how you actually feel about him, about what happened to Amber, about your part in what happened, and he walks out the door anyway, if you make yourself vulnerable for once in your nerve-deadening, emotionally obliterating... You're doing the same thing he is. You're running away. Only he's not killing anyone in the process. You had my cable disconnected. Well, that's quite a leap. Just because I happen to have a 31-person maintenance department, each of whom you've personally abused at some point. Why? I just think I'm okay with letting someone die, but I'm gonna fold if I can't watch celebrity bowling? That is not an unreasonable theory, especially with only 10 minutes till your favorite soap. Oh, gee, is this the remote from the doctor's lounge? Uh. This is your 911? Goodbye. Stop. I'm withholding your salary history from every hospital in the tri-state area. You go, girl. And I'm permanently setting every TV in this building to the Pottery Channel unless you both sit down. Welcome to couples counseling. So what do you want to tell us? Nothing. Nothing I say is going to change anything. You guys need to talk. Actually, you should read the psych literature. Repression's gaining a lot of fans. What you don't face can't crush you. Talk to each other. How you doing? Good? Fine, thanks. Eh, 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 sit. See, the two of you are friends. Look how you both... I think you're an idiot. We both also eat with forks. It doesn't really prove... Talk to him. Tell him how you feel about what he's doing. I told him he's an idiot. Tell him what you think about him leaving. I think he's an idiot. You're an idiot. He's in pain, and your response is just to emotionally blackmail him. You told me what your position is on that one. You're against it, right? But she hasn't told you in front of me. She needs to prove she's on my side. Go to hell. So much for that theory. I'm sorry you lost Amber. I cannot imagine what it is you're going through, but it will not get better by you walking away from everyone that cares about you. Do you think Amber would want you to walk away? Nobody at this hospital even liked Amber. Same time next week. I'm sorry. I know I didn't try to kill her. I know I didn't want her hurt. I know it was a freak accident. But I feel like crap and she's dead because of me. I don't blame you. I wanted to. I tried to. I must have reviewed Amber's case file a hundred times to find a way. But it wasn't your fault. Then we're okay. I mean, I know you're not, but... Maybe I can help. We're not okay. Amber was never the reason I was leaving. I didn't want to tell you because... <laughs> because I was trying, like I always do, to protect you. Which is the problem. You spread misery because you can't feel anything else. You manipulate people because you can't handle any kind of real relationship. And I've enabled it. For years, the games, the binges, the middle of the night phone calls. I should have been the one on the bus, not... You should have been alone on the bus. If I've learned anything from Amber, it's that I have to take care of myself. <laughs> We're not friends anymore, House. 
I'm not sure we ever were.